There's a great story, a great question asked in a story. Why don't they teach you how to do your taxes in school? That's a question I've asked for a long time. Why is it so difficult as you get older? When I was younger, didn't own anything, worked one job. Uh, it was pretty simple. I filled out the easy form. 1040 easy. It was simple. I made this much money. Here are my standard deductions. Here are the things you say I get a standard deduction for. This is the subtraction from that. This is what I paid. This is what I owe. Here's the difference. Send me a refund. That's how it worked. And it was that simple. And then you wonder why it is so difficult to do your taxes now, why you have to have a degree in order to do your taxes, or can you? I've got a couple of stories. Bulletproof your tax return to avoid costly mistakes in IRS audits. Um, test your side hustle must pass to be a tax deduction. But this question, students in U.S. schools learn a variety of topics they may never use, but most of them aren't learning one skill they will almost certainly need later, how to do their taxes. And I wonder why that is the case. Is it because most teachers don't know how to do their taxes? This is not an insult to a teacher's intellect. Um, it is a scary proposition for the average person to you, you own a home, you own vehicles, you've got kids maybe, so what are the deductions? What are the things I can do? Nobody wants to pay any more in taxes than they absolutely have to, but they certainly don't want to lie and cheat, and they don't certainly don't want the IRS breathing down their neck saying that they cheated on their taxes. No one wants to get that letter saying that they've been audited. So how do you find that balance? You go out and you hire somebody. It's that time of year. Accountants that may be listening right now pulling their hair out because they, it's tax time. If you own a small business, you have a whole different set of rules you have to abide by by having a small business. So you've got your individual taxes, then you may have your side hustle. How much of that is a tax liability? How much of that do you have to pay in taxes? And it's a great question. The tax burden in America is, to me, is overwhelming. I, I think it is taking away from the, um, I think it takes away from the joy of being an American. That doesn't mean we shouldn't pay taxes. We shouldn't be paying oppressive taxes. The debt that our country is creating, now whether any of it is necessary or not, and we're going to get to more of that in the economy, and I think we've talked a little bit about it earlier. We'll talk about it a little bit later. That we spend so much money in America in taxes, and yet our government continues to create debt. Where should the cuts come from? Are we as Americans beginning to agree that our government is too big and has too much money and it is creating too much debt? The, av the taxpayer average in America, now this is not citizens. There's a difference between citizens and taxpayers because many people are too young. They're not paying taxes yet and all these other factors. But for people that are taxpayers in America, we each owe as an individual just under $267,000 in debt. That's not the taxes we pay every year. That's what we've accumulated in addition because of the $34 trillion in debt that our government has created. The tax code, and to be honest with you, I hear from people all the time when I talk about we pay too much in taxes. What about the corporations that don't pay anything? Are they breaking the law? Let, let's start there. Are they breaking the law? And if the answer is no, then why aren't we changing the tax code? The president of the United States keeps saying the rich have to pay their fair share. But to be very honest, the president of the United States spent the majority of his life in the United States Congress writing and rewriting the tax codes, adding those places and those loopholes that allow corporations to do it. It was one of the things that I think won the presidency for Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton was when they tried to trap him and say that he didn't pay a whole lot of money in taxes. And he said, I'm, I'm doing what the law provides. If you don't like what I'm doing, change the law. But you're not going to change the law because her supporters are taking the same benefits and deductions that I'm taking. So they can complain about me, but her supporters are doing the same things I've done. And I think that kind of honesty about the tax code is what won him the presidency in 2016. Now, there were a lot of issues that came in that presidency, and there's a, there's a reason why Biden won in 2020. But when it comes to the tax code, if we don't like it, then we should change it. But are we electing people that are going to change the tax code? It's tax season. You're going to do your many of you are going to use one of the services and you're going to do your own taxes and you're going to find out. It takes up an enormous amount of time. You're always nervous that you've done something wrong. And why should it be that way as an American citizen? You get a document 
that tells you how much money you've made this year. You have a document that tells you this is what your reported taxable income is and how much money you've paid in taxes. It's all laid out for you in one simple document. And yet you got to go through books and websites and you got to look up your home interest, more your mortgage interest, and you got to look up all these other different things to make sure you're getting the deductions you deserve and you aren't paying any more than you have to. Why should our tax system be so complicated? Now, for a business, it might be different. Depreciation and all these other things you can do. And if you're, as an individual, are you driving and keeping track of your mileage that you use for work and you get a mileage deduction and all this? Why isn't it more simple? This is... At some point, when you look at the tax code, people have got to look at it and say, there's got to be a better way. Why isn't it easier for a family that works a job and owns a home, maybe owns two homes, maybe have a vacation home, but why does all of that factor into what you owe? It is a complex system that is way too complex, and the only way to make it fair would change things for people that they don't want to change. And I think that's a big part of they're not doing anything differently. But it's tax season. You got two weeks. I have two weeks. I got to get mine done too. Thanks for watching the Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.